Hi guys, this is Miss Sizemuddle and today I'm going to show you how to make a continuously moving um, item or sprite on your game. So this is easier than you think it is. So the first thing I'm going to do here is notice I've pulled out a bunch of sprites and I'm going to make one of them move. And you'll notice that once you get one of them moving, it becomes really easy to do the other ones as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is change and add a backdrop. And the backdrop I want to add is actually this one, the XY grid. And the reason is because notice these numbers, they're not there just for fun. That XY grid is there to help you. So you'll notice that the Y, the up and down, ends at negative 180 and starts at 180. The X over here, negative 240 to positive 240 with zero in the middle. So now that you know where things are, it becomes a lot easier to figure out what you're doing with your sprites. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of the sprites and I'm going to pick the banana because I did I think I did the apple last time. So we're going to do the banana. And uh, the first thing I want to do is figure out where it currently is. So it's currently at X61 and Y147. So I need it to go back there when I reset my game. So I like to use the when spacebar press to start uh, as the event handler to start my code. So I'm going to move my bananas here and I want to glide them to an XY position. Uh, it's negative 180 is where I want it to go. So I want to keep the same X that it has right now, which is 61, but I want it to go to negative 180. Whoops, 180 on the Y. And I'm going to make it glide over one second. So let's hit the flag, reset it, and ta-da, I got it to move. Now I need it to disappear so you can't see it anymore and go back up here and do it again. So I can very easily go grab a looks and pull a hide right here. And so after it gets there, then I want to hide and then I want it to go back to the top somewhere, right? So I want it to stay at the 61, but I don't want it to be in the same place every time. I want it to move around because the goal is probably going to be to catch the thing, right? So I'm going to go grab a pick random and stick it in there for the Y because, well, actually, I'm lying. I want the Y to be negative. Uh, I want the Y to be 147 because that's where I started at. I want to be in the X because I want to slide back and forth across the top somewhere. So it's not going to, between 1 and 10 doesn't move it very far. I want it to go between negative 240 and, 40, and 240. So negative 240 and 240. Like that. And so now I'm going to see what happens. Whoops, I have to, oh, and then I obviously have to show it again show because otherwise I can't see it so after I get it back up there I'm going to hit show I'm going to go back here I'm going to show it oh fine be that way there we go so now I can it comes back up to the top now if I hit the space bar again it should randomly pick a different position notice it's still going down to here though because notice I gave it a specific X and Y I wanted it to go to, right? Well, I want the X to just be the X of wherever it starts. So to do that, I'm going to go to motion and see it. There it is, X position. So I'm going to have it glide to the X position of wherever it started at to that Y over there. So now let's try it again. Hey, look, now... Every time I hit the space bar, it falls and it can disappear and pop right back up there. Now, if I want this to keep doing this, I can obviously put a very simple forever loop over it and let's see what happens. So if I do that, 
There you go. Now my bananas are randomly falling on my screen. And when they get to the bottom, they hide and move back to the top and show again. Now I can hit stop at any point and reset and they go back to that original reset location. Now, some people just want it to fall and when it gets to a certain spot, then go do that. That's fine, you can do that. Um, you can also have it randomly select the X and the Y of where to start. So, well, the Y should be the same each time. And I could, mind you, make the Y 180. So if I put up there 180, and I put over here for my Y 180. Then let's see what that does. Green flag, notice it starts it up above now. And so it kind of does look more like it's falling now. And it's falling pretty fast. If I want to slow down, I could change it from a glide one second to a glide two seconds to make it go slower. Now. Let's say, okay, great, that's wonderful, but now I really want the orange to move as well. So if you want the orange to follow this exact same code, just drag the code over the top of the orange and drop it. And I'm going to do that with the when flag clicked. And now if I go click on my orange, notice my code is there. So I can stop it. And notice they started in the exact same location because that's where I started it from. So I can stop and put this pick random. I can duplicate that and have it pick a random X every time to start. And then I can go there and start it. And notice they're falling together. So maybe I want the orange to go faster. So I can change my orange. And now my orange is going faster than my bananas. See? So this is how you can create that continuous movement for your game. I hope this helps.